get at this? Hello, fighters! Ras Mero here, and today we're going to be opening Extra Booster 6, Light of Salvation, Logic of Destruction. As you guys can see, I am using a brand new sort of a setup for my card and booster box opening, so I hope you guys enjoy it, and do let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I'm also trying out some new settings on my camera. Anyway, let me just uh, focus for you guys, and we shall take a look at the cards in our first pack. We're starting off with a very familiar and old looking card, although looking much more badass, I believe. Here we have Beast Dighty White Tiger from Nova Grappler. And yes, this looks like a Link Joker card. Lethal Shock Jet Shaft. Followed by Kagero, Wyvern Strike, Gajil Bird. And now our first rare is going to be from Royal Paladin. Pentless Feather Dragon, followed by, wait a minute, this is our very first foil of the set, and it looks like it's going to be a triple rare, and yes, this is Dragon Full Armored Buster, and yes, the character does sort of look like, uh, he resembles Kai a bit actually, if you take a good look at his design, and now let's go into his effects. On Vanguard and Rearguard, if your opponent has no Rearguards, this unit gets power plus 3k. When placed on Vanguard or Rearguard, you may Soul Blast 2, retire one of your opponent's Rearguards, then look at the top 7 cards of your deck, search for up to 1 Overlord among them, add it to your hand and shuffle your deck. So yes, very nice, that is our Overlord search right there. So now that I have more space, I'm going to put the foils that I pull on the side so that you guys can keep track of them. You know what, I'm just going to put it somewhere nearer. And next we have a Kagero Common. Demonic Dragon Mage Kimnara and Asteroid Wolf. Moving on to the second pack. So we are starting off with Kagero. I wouldn't mind if our VR is Kagero as well because I mean Kagero is awesome and I would really love to have a Dragonic Overlord the Great. And here we have Jet Shaft again, followed by another copy of Gajil Bird. Here's a new one. Star Hulk Rururi, and it looks like this is gonna be the Great Zero starting Vanguard for Star Hulk. And here's a Ling Joker Rare. The Black Light Whip Flick Hitter. Followed by, next we are receiving another rare right, another foil right off the bat. This time it's only a double rare though, and this is Blaster Rapier. Very nice. On Rear Guard, if you have six Blaster units with different card names, this unit gets power plus 15k. Now that is massive. On Rear Guard, when this unit attacks a Vanguard, if you have a Vanguard with Blaster or Arc Saver in its name, you can look at the top card of your deck and either place it on the top or bottom of your deck. So that is some nice uh, trigger mining right there. Oh, sorry, I'm just gonna put this over here. And it's really nice to see the blaster cards though. Like, ever since the original Vanguard, I've always loved like the whole blaster series. And it's really cool how in the V series, we initially got the Shadow Paladin version of Blaster Rapier and now we're getting the Royal Paladin. Anyway, moving on, Dragon Knight Warid. And uh, Critical Trigger, I believe this was from the Trial deck as well. Pulse Monk of the Quaking Foot. All oh, these Link Joker names, so like <laughs> weird. Uh, not not exactly weird, but very like sophisticated. <laughs> I believe that's the. I'm not sure if that's the right word to use, but I kind of see it as pretty sophisticated. And you keep on looking up the English translations for them. Refreshing Knight Gurhill. Sharp Ring of Collapse Elnilam. Refilling Riser. Oh, this is cool. This is actually another Riser, but this one's just here for refilling fuel. Here's another Tendless Feather Dragon, followed by another rare. Ah, Beast Deity Vermilion Bird. I believe it translates to. I delocalize it as Scarlet Bird in the English Vanguard. And wait, this is Shout! Yes, the Screaming and Dancing MC Shout. This was one of my most favorite cards from the original Vanguard. So cool to see him here again. And here is Beloved Child of Super String Theory. What did I say? Sophisticated? <laughs> yeah. Like, I mean, I have spent quite a few years studying Japanese, so I can read quite a bit of it. I'm quite advanced, actually, but a lot of the vocabulary they use for, like, card games such as these, especially the Link Joker cards, it's, like, way more than what I use in daily life in conversation with a Japanese person, so I've never learned it. Jet Shaft, another Gajil Bird and Jet Shaft combo. Star Hulk Kairal, that's gonna be our rare. Followed by another double rare, very nice Dragonic Neo Flame. I love this guy, like back from when he was, he was part of the Legion, right? Back in Legion mate. I can't remember with which Overlord though. I think it's Overlord the Great, but let's take a look at his effects. On rear guard, when your Dragonic Overlord the Great attacks, during that battle, that unit gets power plus 5k, and if you counter blast 2, it also gets an additional critical. So, 
just by being in your rear guard circle, this is going to be an amazing boost to your Overlord, the great and amazing combo right there. Here we have the Demonic Dragon Mage, Kinara again. I'm just going to skip the ones that I've already read, because I don't think I need to read them again for you guys. And then we can make the opening pass a little faster with that as well. Yep, we've seen this Star Hulk Guri, Guru Hill. Yep. Oh, and here's a Beast Dighty Black Tortoise. Now, I definitely love the design of this guy. And this one is Fire Rage Dragon, Grade 3 Kagero Rare, and Pulse Monk of the Quaking Foot, followed by another Shao. I actually really liked Beast Dighties, but only in the Link Joker era. I didn't like the... The or I didn't really play in the original uh, Asia Circuit art where the boss was Azure Dragon. I really love Ethics Buster, which is why I joined. Anyway, here's a new Link Joker card. Treasured Child of the Nuclear Magnetic Resonance. Very interesting name. Here we have Flick Hitters. Whoa, wait! Wait! Oh, wait, okay. I thought that was a VR. No, this is just a triple rare, I believe. Yes. And this is the Wandering Star Hulk Deity Brand. Sorry, Wandering Star Hulk Ruler, I mean. The Star Hulk Deity is his Grade 4 form, which is a VR in this set. On Vanguard, you may Counter Blast 1 and Soul Blast 1. Until the end of your opponent's turn, the effects of their triggers change according to the following. If they get a critical trigger, the critical plus 1 becomes a critical minus 1 instead. And if they get a heal trigger, instead of healing, they receive 1 damage instead. Now that is a very cool and pretty deadly effect that we witnessed in one of the recent episodes between uh, Ren vs Destiny Conductor. And oh wait, this is a new one. Calamity Tower Wyvern. And followed by... Lady Healer of the Torn World. Alright, so now we've got two triples and two doubles. So I'm really hoping that we either get uh, Brands as the VR or Dragonic Overlord for the VR this time since we got the triple rares for them already. You've already seen this one, White Tiger. Here's a new rare, Rotary Sage Belk. Followed by, very cool, another Blaster Double R. And this time we are having the Royal Paladin version of Blaster Javelin. On rear guard during a battle in which this unit boosts, if you have a Blaster or Art Saver Vanguard, this unit gets power plus 2k, so an easy 10k booster. On rear guard when this unit boosts, if you have 6 Blaster units with different names on your field, you can choose one of your opponent's front row rear guards and bind it. Pretty cool. All this blaster support is really nice. And yep, yep. We're moving on to the next pack. But I mean, things are really heating up in the anime right now and it's really turning out, turning out to be much more exciting than I expected it to be this second season. I'm kind of wondering what's going to happen after this whole uh, high school arc is over though, at least after once Destiny, Conductor and Ibuki are defeated. And here is Meganton Powerdon, a Nova Grappler Rare. Oh, whoa, wait! Oh man, look at that thing, it's got its name printed on the front over there. Wait, do they do this for all SVRs? I think it's been so long since I pulled an SVR that I can't even remember what SVRs are typically like, but... Oh damn! Okay, the, the, past, the, the previous two cards we've seen already, so we can just focus on our SVR pull of the Wandering Star Hulk Deity. Brand Ringer. Is it Daiti? Daiti or DT? Something like that. Right. But man, this... Like, I've seen this card's art in the anime where like, in the normal VR where it has that sort of like, apocalyptic, destroyed planet background, but with this like, whole like, pattern thing behind the black hole and this foiling style, it just looks so epic. Alright, let's move into its effects. On Vanguard, you may counter blast one. Until the end of your opponent's turn, your opponent's trigger effects change to the following. If they get a critical trigger instead of critical plus one, during that battle, their vanguard gets critical minus one. I do realize I got this effect for the triple rare brand wrong, so I'm just going to add a caption for that while I'm editing this video. If they get a heal trigger instead of healing, they get one damage instead. If they get a draw trigger instead of drawing, they have to discard one card from their hand instead. And if they get a front trigger, their front trigger power increase applies to the back row instead. So. Yes, that is pretty sick, and I'm going to put my SVR over here on the right. On the whole though, I guess the reversal for the front trigger... Okay, but 
Front triggers are only in Excel clans, and typically you have to attack with the front row, so it can be quite devastating. Shifting it to the back row, here we are seeing... Oh, here's a new uh, Star Hulk rare. Star Hulk Giggles, and Asteroid Wolf, and other cards we've seen as well, down to 3 packs. So I do believe we should be still getting more double rares, and I think one more triple rare as well. Alright, here's a new one. Undulatory Sage Tarna, rare for Royal Paladin, and Genocide Jack. Man, I remember this card from the old days. On Vanguard and Rearguard during your turn, this unit gets power plus 10k. On Rearguard, this unit does not stand during the stand phase. Once per turn on Rearguard, you may rest two of your Rearguards in order to stand this card. So it is quite similar to its original uh, its original version of the card, where you kind of have to make some sacrifices if you want to ensure that Genocide Jack can attack because his power level is just pretty high. So it wouldn't be fair if he's treated like a normal unit. Alright. And yep, we're just seeing a lot of the cards we've seen already. Yep, yep. And yep, we are getting a lot of shouts. And now we are down to our final pack of EV07. And let's see what we get. If my prediction is right, this should be a double rare. Alright. Uh, refueling Riser. Ooh, this is a really cool Link Joker rare. Decadal Automata. Now that is some really sick card. This, oh, no rare? Alright. Dragonic Burnout. And yup, yeah, that will be all. And very fittingly, we got a Brent Ringer Force Marker from our Obligatory Gift Marker Pack. So that'll be all for this Booster Box opening. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for future Vanguard V-Series Booster Box and product openings on the day of release. Our next release is actually going to be a double release next month on May 17th, where we will be getting Extra Booster 7 The Heroic Evolution, as well as V Special Series 1, the Premium Collection 2019. So make sure you guys stick around and hope to see you guys in the next Vanguard video. Go to the B road. We are no bad that leads to a world that we'll create. Soaring across all the world's seven seas in search of